Okay, we're live. Uh, hey, we're playing Bebe's Kids. Actually, let me fix that. We shouldn't be playing Bebe's Kids. Let me fix that really quick. One sec. Hey guys, welcome to Baby's Kids. Might look a little different, but we're playing it. Uh, this was the cast of the movie, as we all recall. Yeah, welcome to Baby's Kids. Uh, thank you, Team Gaijin. I don't think that's the team that made this, but the logo changed, so I'll have to believe it. Um... So yeah, this is this is Bay Bay's kids. Uh, I grew up with this game. I had an opportunity on my birthday to either get a copy of Mega Man X or Bay Bay's kids. I went for Bay Bay's kids, and I regretted it. But whatever, we're gonna play it. And who should we play as? Oh, uh, yeah, these aren't the normal characters. Um, oh geez. Uh, I guess we'll go for uh, the the skier. Okay. Alright, now it looks fine. It's a little different than what I remember, but... Okay, so welcome to Baby's Kids. Uh, first things first, see that? That's not in any game FAQ guide. That's a move you can do. You can only do it when you have full health. Which kind of makes it worthless. Uh, it does kill an enemy in one hit. As long of an animation as it is, don't worry, it hits one time, so don't ever do it. Uh, now this game's great, as you can tell. Uh, it runs great, you know, solid uh, 30 FPS, but don't worry, the game's not actually running at 30 FPS. In fact, I'll show you right now why I know it's not running at 30 FPS. Check this out. Oh, I guess these don't show it. Certain projectiles run at 60 for some reason. These baseballs don't, which is very weird. But yeah, uh, certain projectiles run at 60 while everything else in game is running at like 30, 24, I don't even know. It's, run <laughs> it's running at a much lower speed. I think these basketballs are a culprit. Let's see, do they do it? Yeah, they do. They run a lot smoother than the actual game runs. What a strange game this one is, huh? You know, the logo looked weird, uh, the character select screen was a little strange, I didn't really know who I was picking. I thought I was playing as a skier, but apparently I'm not. But yeah, uh, things to know about this game. You have special moves. Do you know how you do the special moves? Why, that's simple. You hold the R button down and then press punch or uh, kick. Don't worry, it's always the same one. You do it in the air, you get that little flying kick. You do it on the ground, you do an uppercut. You don't need to fight these guys, in fact, it's a waste of time. Uh, you do have just a punch and a kick. Don't use those. It takes about 10 to 20 hits to kill an enemy and you're gonna run out of time. They don't, ta they don't tell you anywhere. You have to read the manual if you wanna know that. If you wanna know that you actually have special moves, you have to read the manual, but uh, yeah, you do have them and you do need to use them. Uh, this stage may be a little confusing, unless you saw the movie. Because, see, the kids are troublemakers, so they want to break all the glass. Even though in the movie they didn't break the glass. And, uh, the baby knocking the glass over was kind of incidental because he was having fun. But, uh, we gotta stop Robin Harris from collecting all these glasses by breaking them. Even if that means breaking our face open on them. It's a noble sacrifice, though. You have to do what you have to do in this baby's kid's world. This is a uh, tone lock of the baby. Whoop. Oh, see, you gotta keep breaking your face open on them. If you don't, he collects one of them. It's random how many drop. Those pink ones are worth more, so now the stage is over. Wow. That was the level, everybody. All right, let's keep going. Oh no, watch out. These are the Bebe's men. You don't want to get uh, got by these two. 
But don't worry, we have our special move, and here we go. Wow! You can't defeat this tumbling child. Like I said, you can only do it at full health. Uh, to my knowledge, it's not in any of the guides that exist online that you can do that move. Uh, I actually had to figure it out earlier how it even worked, because it didn't make any sense to me. Uh, I occasionally did it without even trying, and then I had to realize it was happening because I had full health. They're not able to do it otherwise. So like I said, it's kind of a weird move. I don't know why it's there. I would understand if it was like a desperation move. Like, you know, beat-em-ups have that. You, oh, it's not supposed to make you jump. Yeah, if you want to throw these, you have to hold R and press jump. And it's not supposed to make you jump, but it just made me jump. Here, let's tumble into the door. Uh... But yeah, the, that's not really a desperation move. You lose a little bit of health to do it, and then you're never allowed to do it again unless you get full health. Uh, here's the the worst stage. The worst stage in the game. Uh, it's a maze. A maze in a beat-em-up with a timer. Uh, by the way, there's no indication of which way you're supposed to be going. Uh, a lot of these doors can end up taking you backwards if you uh, go through them again. Or sometimes you have to repeat the same doorway. It's uh, really fun, this level. And by that I mean nobody ever got past this when they played it. Don't lie, you never did. The only reason you would is because you uh, you looked up a guide, or you're a fool like me, or you, you memorized this because this was your childhood and you had to play this garbage. But don't worry guys, we have the solution here. Here it is, the maze completed. Speed run. Tass. This is a skier playthrough of Baby's Kids. You know, most people pick uh, either the, the, the two kids from the movie. I play as the skier personally. Also, we're done with that level. How do you perform the role? Uh, R and A. I think A is duck, right? Yes, I think it is. So yeah, R and A does the role. Uh, both kids have their own unique animation. The other one, she's doing a cartwheel, which I think makes a little more sense. Just rolling on the ground doesn't exactly make too much sense why that would kill somebody in one hit, but whatever. There's the car race. As you can see, it's closed. I'm still disappointed. Uh, I still have not seen Afro Man. I have not seen uh, I've not seen uh, the Conehead that was on the title screen. I haven't seen this Gaijin uh, snowboard team. I'm not gonna lie. The first time I used that code, it freaked me out because I had no idea that that was a thing that it did. I was I was aware I was aware that there's a code for this game. Uh, the code is X-ray baby. You you spell out X-ray baby on your controller uh, on the Paramount logo, meaning I can't see it because I'm using an upscaler. So uh, the Paramount logo will not be on my TV. I just have to guess the timing of it to do it. But yeah, uh, it gives you a debug mode, kinda, not really. Uh, here, I think I can show what it does. If I can remember. Yeah, it does that. Uh, hit select and hold left if you want to wipe everything on screen. Oh, time to tumble. You're going to get tumbled, my friend. Uh, I think there's a way to skip levels with it, too. Everything's mapped to the select button from what I remember. Oh, by the way, platforming in this sucks. Yeah, there's platforming. Uh, so you would think because it's a beat-em-up. Oh, I hold, like, up to get to these? No, in fact, that's a horrible mistake you could be making. Uh, do not, do not do that. Do not press up if you're trying to get onto these platforms. By the way, there's my 60 FPS cannonball. Um, holding up when trying to platform will actually prevent you from landing on platforms. You have to just completely let go of the D-pad and, uh, hope that you get up there, which is pretty neat. You can do... Oh, they disappeared. I can't believe it. <laughs> the thing is, enemies in this game, there's no point of fighting them, ever. 
Uh, they're just a waste of your time. Occasionally the game will try to lock the screen, but it's usually tied to like one enemy. So if you just kill the one enemy, you're allowed to proceed anyways, even if there's others still left. And it keeps respawning them infinitely. So, you know, why bother? Who cares? You know, this is a, a humorous, humorous thing from the film, if you remember. See, the kids, they were the Bebe's kids, and they would, uh, they would beat up uh, the people in the park, and uh, their pants would fall down, and they'd say, how embarrassing, I've been pantsed by the Bebe's kids. Yeah? Oh, oh no! Did you see that? He, like, vibrated off screen. How interesting. You probably could crash the game by doing that, so I might want to be careful goofing around with this uh, stupid debug mode. <laughs> uh, here's the boss. Uh-oh. See, he's like he's like Redbeard or something, I guess. Uh, they give you projectiles. Don't worry, they don't really hit. In fact, almost nothing hits them. In fact, the hit detection on these guys are pretty terrible. Uh, they can do an infinite combo to you, which is really cool. You can't move away vertically fast enough to get away from it, so if you're at the mercy of it, I'm so sorry, you're probably dead. Look at this. He doesn't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, these projectiles they give you, very hard to actually line them up. You have to jump into it, and it usually doesn't work. That's okay, because Baby's Kids was a very good movie, uh, and I'm so happy that it got a very good video game to go with it. It doesn't need to have the best hit detection. As long as it's got the, the Baby's, the kids, Baby's Kids specifically, I'm happy. It's got the skier, it's got the snowboarder, it's got the cone heads. What else could you want? Maybe a Happy Meal and a Pepsi. Come along, little baby. That's too baby. You remember. You remember. Oh no, tumble! Oh, we could not tumble the dog. That's what uh, Robin Harris would always say. What do you want? Ooh, nothing. Oh, yeah, these guys grab you if you get near them. Uh, and unfortunately, they become invincible when that happens too. So if you were in the process of throwing something at them, don't worry, uh, it'll phase through them. You know, I wonder if the debug thing will kill these people in the window. You can't actually kill them normally. No, it will not. They exist forever. They are an anomaly in the Baby's Kids universe. Watch me phase these two out of existence. Wow, even your debug commands don't work. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, not that this game doesn't work. This game actually works very well. As you can tell. We're gonna go down the elevator now. To this fun level. Oh no. Look out, it's these characters. You might recognize them. Oop. Don't worry. We have. We still have another chance to tumble. There's the tumble. And like I said, it only hits one time. So there's another enemy you want to hit with it. And you're gonna have to deal with the fact that it won't do that. No, no. That's too hard to set up. Oh no. We have to kill this man. They only take two hits from these, from what I remember. Oh no. He's dead. And now we can move on. But wait, there's another enemy. What do you mean you can move on? No, don't worry. Like I said, it's only tied to one of them. Oh no, it's Richard Nixon. Bye, Nixon. Oh! Nothing like spawning into an area and having something thrown at you off screen. That's always a good thing, too. Okay, we gotta get our Pepsi. The Bebe's kids love Pepsi. They mention it a lot in the movie. They go to Fun World, and then they start chanting Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. Okay. Oh, we're almost at the end of the game, by the way. Whoop. Don't worry uh, about that Richard Nixon that just fell through the hole. They'll do that sometimes. 
Okay. Oh, Robo Nixon, too strong. I'm surprised they even programmed in uh, falling from platforms like that. It doesn't work very well, obviously, but the enemies do do it. They can fall. Isn't that interesting? Uh, that's a thing too. You can pick up two. You can pick up two enemy enemies. <laughs> I wish you could pick up enemies. You can pick up two items at the same time by ducking, which can be really annoying because maybe you want to pick up ammo for one weapon and then you pick up two weapons at once, so you lose the other one. Uh, that is a thing that can happen. Hit detection doesn't work very well in this game, except for that, I guess, which is you know weird, but whatever. Got a cool guy come. We're living in a baby's kid's world. Who even knows how things work? You'll have to ask the skier and the snowboarder and the gaijin team. Alright, we're done here. Yeah, that, uh, that clip that's from Robin Harris at the end of the movie when they're in the parking lot. I remember. Uh, I don't know why that's in the game, uh, but it is. Uh, these, th this, there's the bear. Remember the robo bear? He's here. There's Stoop Kid wearing a cloak. I don't remember him from the movie, but I guess he's here. Oh, watch out for robo bear. We got Gradients, if you enjoy Gradients. This bat is a lot of fun, and by that I mean it's really annoying. Uh, the voice clip that it plays is a sped up sample of somebody saying wake up a bunch of times because they use it in a song after this. I guess they didn't have room for more samples, so whatever. Make use of what you got. Team Gaijin, they don't know too, too much about the Super Nintendo. They didn't have too much space. These Bebe's kids, they were taking up too much room. Uh oh, Stu Kid's back and he's pissed. Don't worry, these rocks kill him. Uh oh. Jump on the gradient platforms. Whoa! This game is very immersive. I do feel like uh, a baby. I do feel like a baby, a baby, a baby's kid, baby the kid. Oh, no, this is Khalil is his name. You can remember that because they sang a song about what all their names were in the movie. These iconic characters, these lovable children, and their crazy trip to a fun world, not Disney. All right, and now we're at the final boss, everybody. And let me tell you, you're going to get hurt as soon as you spawn in. And you're going to never be able to touch him because his hit detection is so bad, it's almost impossible to win this fight. Also, he can combo you forever. Like so. There's that wake up clip. You get to hear it for real now. Don't worry, I'm not lined up with him, apparently. Will I die here? Probably. Oh, we're trapped in a corner, in fact, so I'm pretty sure I will die here. Don't worry, they give you food, which isn't very helpful. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. We are not lined up with him. Thing is, he's able to hit you from very far away. You have to be lined up absolutely perfect to hit him. Which is, you know, good. It's very fun when that happens in a video game. Oh no, things are not looking good. Don't worry, he disappeared somehow. Oh. oh. Uh, hmm. Okay, welcome to hell. Uh, this is the final stage. This is the bonus stage. You gotta be careful when playing Hell. Uh, it's a very hard level. Alright, that was Hell. Oh, and now we gotta fight the boss again.
Okay, hang on. All right. I think we're ready for this boss fight for real now. Oh, we're trapped in a corner. In fact, we are not ready for this boss fight. So, we're back here. I'm going to need to properly... <laughs> I'm going to need to properly fight that boss. Uh, as bad as his hit detection is, you are not skipping him, my friends. You do have to fight him. Even uh, X-Ray Baby will not save you. Yeah, do you like the, the too strong voice clip? It sounds really good. I'm pretty sure that's the too black too strong, but you can't have too black in here, but you can have the too strong. All right, we're almost there. Now this, the soundtrack is maybe one of the best on the Super Nintendo, I would say. It does justice to the film. Okay, we got our happy meal. Right. It's Too time strong. to fight him for real. Don't worry, they give you infinite time. Not that you're gonna be able to do anything. I know that might have looked like I hit him, but I didn't. Don't worry. It's a little hard to make a video game that functions. I can I can understand uh, the plight of these developers. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're dead. But we'll get him, don't worry. By the way, if I didn't do this, you guys would have to sit through probably six to seven minutes of gameplay for me to get back there. Uh, thank you, X-Ray Baby, for existing. Because yes, that, uh, that final boss fight is a complete crapshoot. It is luck if you're going to hit him with how uh, wonky the hit detection is. Here, can I get some health from this room? Um, oh, he pushed me in the hole. I guess not. Oh, I died by falling through the hole. Well, shucks. Yeah, watch this. This is what happens when you die in a level, by the way. Uh, it kicks you out. And it doesn't just kick you out of the level. It kicks you all the way back. So if you want to play about, like I said, seven more minutes of the game to get back to where you were, well, saddle up. That's what they do to you. Don't worry, we don't have to do that. No, that's okay. No, that's alright. Hey, Nixon. Alright, we're back. Let me remind you guys, I bought this game instead of Mega Man X when I was a small child. If you're wondering why I did, it was because I watched the movie a lot as a kid. I liked it a lot when I was a child. It's not the worst. It's not that bad of a movie. Uh, it's very confused as a movie. There's a lot wrong with it as a movie. You can tell that it was also very cheap in a lot of ways, but it's not the worst movie. Can I get this, please? Thank you. It took a bit. Oh. Wake up. And yeah, by the way, these have bad hit detection too, so you have to hit them just right. Like that. 
Also, these bearers just have specific points that spawn them. Sometimes they even won't spawn. Uh, we were not so lucky. As you can see, it really likes spawning him endlessly. Endlessly. There are so many bears. Don't worry, we're almost there. Oh, a new bear. I can always appreciate a new bear. Oh, off-screen bat. Classic. Another bear. Two health pickups at once. And here we are, the final level. I'm sure we can do it this time. I'm sure the game won't make this really hard to do, like last time. Can you move? I want to get the rock. Thank you. Oh, he hit me anyways. Oh, it went right through him. Aw, oh, doesn't that sting? It went right through him again. Yeah, he gets invincibility frames on some stuff that he does. I can't tell you what because it doesn't really make any sense to me. You think I know this game? I only know a little bit of this game. I don't know this whole game. It's like a wild woody. I don't get why it doesn't work the way that it should. It just doesn't, and you're gonna have to deal with it. This is Bebe's kids. All right. It means he's almost dead. Maybe one more hit, two more hits, if I can even get them. Probably not, I think I'm gonna die again. No, we got him, we did it guys. Oh, we defeated Bebe's kids. We've done it. We visited hell, we got a happy meal there, we defeated the robot, and we woke up. Fun world, fun world, the Bebe's kids say. Pee-wee punched out Fun World, his fist is extended. Pee-wee, don't! Palette shift. Thank you, Team Gaijin. You, uh, you are a wonderful team. Your snowboarding team in Vancouver. You've made a wonderful game. Well guys, that was Bebe's Kids. I hope you enjoyed this masterpiece. Uh, there are supposed to be credits, but I guess if you play with uh, that mode activated, it doesn't show them. That's okay, there's only like six names. Also, it turned off the code. There's the actual title screen, but it's not, not nearly as fun. Not nearly as fun. I'm not kidding, by the way, when I say there's like only six names. From what I remember, there's six or seven names. Radical Entertainment, I don't know who that is. I know, I know Team Gaijin. They're Vancouver snowboarding. I don't know who Radical Entertainment is. I've never heard of them before. But yeah, that was Bebe's Kids. As you can see, there's the Bebe's Kids. Although they don't look the same. Those aren't the Bebe's Kids! Oh. Hey. There. Hey, now that's the babies, kids. Jeez. They don't even know who the babies kids are. Those are the two Bebe's kids! Okay, now, we've seen the game. We've played Bebe's kids, we've seen the game, but... 
what else can we do with this crazy zany mode? Oh, shouldn't have done that, I suppose. <laughs> don't don't try to go backwards on the first level. It will kill you. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you are unsupervised. You are not allowed to go to level zero. It doesn't even kill you. It gives you a game over altogether. Oh my god. Wow. All right. Let's see what else we can do with this crazy code. X-ray, baby. Come on, give me the X-ray, baby experience. That ain't X-ray, baby. Give me the X-ray, baby. Oh my god, I keep putting the code in wrong. Uh, let's try it again. Okay. Unfortunately, the R button on this controller is not so great, so I might not get the code. I can't tell if I'm getting it because the screen is blacked out during it. There they are. X-ray, baby! All right. That's right, I'm having a legitimate freak out right now. I'm having a, a massive panic attack. Okay, now let's be careful. We don't want to go backwards and kill ourselves. We'll prevent the baby's kids from ever being born. We don't want to do that. There we go. Oh, we're like hovering in the air. That's interesting. Can I do something to maybe break this level by doing that? Let's see. Let's see how much we can break Bebe's kids, potentially. We are levitating. Can I walk up here? No, it pushes you down. Oh well. This is pretty neat. Oh, cool. These are all considered levels. Neat. Now you get to see the whole haunted house and how nothing in it looks any different. So imagine having to navigate this. Here it is, guys, the ultimate speed run. The full Bebe's Kids experience. Hang on, I want a Pepsi. Thank goodness she's been saved. You can't do any better than this. This is the fastest speed run of Bebe's kids. Now what happens if I skip this level? Let's see. What if I skip ahead? Oh. Let's skip ahead again. Oh. Let's skip ahead again. <laughs> Where'd Pee Wee go? Oh no! We time traveled backwards. So are those cutscenes considered levels then? I got a feeling that those cutscenes are considered stages. 
<laughs> Poor Pee Wee. He got lost in hell. We have to go back for him. I'll save you, Pee Wee. What I'm going to try doing is, maybe on the cutscene I can still use the debug buttons. What if Robin Harris is considered an enemy? Maybe I can delete him off the screen. We gotta save Pee-wee! Pee-wee, where are you? We have to save the X-ray baby! But yeah, if you guys want to try this out, up, down, x-ray, baby on the Paramount screen. That's how you do it. Uh, I don't know how documented that is as a code, but it does exist. There is a cheat code for Bebe's kids, if, if you can believe that. All right. We're almost there. I'm going to save you, Pee-wee. But first, let me get these burgers and fries. Did you just drop some slime out of him or something? Take that, evil Nixon. Wow. It almost looks like the, the correct color palette. All right. Are you in here, Pee-wee? Oh, you can't do it on that screen. Oh, you can do something all right. What was that? That was weird. <laughs> I was trying to do it and it almost let me. I think I was catching it on the final frame of it fading out. How interesting. Wow. Pretty neat that their debug function lets you break the game. I appreciate that. Was Pee Wee back there? <laughs> I couldn't see. It faded out too quick. Somebody tell me if Pee Wee was behind Robin Harris on that screen. Maybe we found him. <laughs> Yeah, we are getting stuck in a time loop, unfortunately. I think this is the most we can do to Bebe's kids. All we can do is, uh... Keep skipping ahead. You know what? If I keep select held down... Oh, yes, I can. So maybe if I keep mashing up... Let's see. Let's see if we can have that happen again. I'm going to keep hitting up as fast as I can, and maybe I can do it again. We're going to save you, Pee-wee. We're going to save you. It does something different every time. Ah, uh, unfortunately. It's just too much work. You know what we could do, though? Maybe that screen where they're throwing us out of the park, we could do something to it. Let's see. There he is! Pee-wee! Ah, uh, nah, you can't break it any more than that. Oh well. That was Bebe's kids. We've been ejected. No more X-Ray Baby. No more Gaijin. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this game. Because I didn't. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to go work on some stuff now. I might stream again later, though. Uh, we did get some donations, so I will read those. And then we'll wrap up here. Oh, this isn't as fun to look at. 
uh, as background noise. Hang on. I can do it one more time. Let us put in X-Ray Baby one last time. Okay, I think I got it. There they are. So this is the most we'll ever know about X-Ray Baby, is uh, that this was Team Gaijin, I guess. I, I meant to say this is the most we'll ever know about Team Gaijin. I said X-Ray Baby instead. Maybe that doesn't say Gaijin. Maybe that says X-Ray Baby in Japanese. But uh, these two, these two, uh, these two must be Team Gaijin, whoever they are. Is one of them a cone head? Yeah, it looked like it. And one of them had an afro, one of them had high tops, uh, one of them was wearing a jock strap. They seemed like a very silly bunch, that uh, that Team Gaijin. But that's it, guys. That was Bebe's kids. Thank you for watching. Let us kill them one final time by going back to the past and preventing them from ever being born. Oh, can I do it here? Help!